Hi guys, welcome back to our course on NumPy. In our previous lecture, we covered the rand n method and today we are going to cover the rand n method of the random module of the NumPy. And we'll try to understand what is the difference between the rand method and the rand n method. So let's get started. So let me just write Python 3 and hit enter. Now I'm going to import numpy as np and hit enter so i've imported the numpy library now the numpy dot random dot rand n method here we have not imported the random module directly so we will use numpy or np dot random dot rand n as the whole syntax so it creates an array of specified shape and fills it with values or numbers as per the standard normal distribution so it creates an array of the specified shape and fills it with the values as per the standard normal distribution now if you recall in case of the rand method it fills the array with values as per the standard uniform distribution this is a very important difference between the rand and the rand n method. So one important thing to note is that it fills the array with random floats sampled from a univariate normal or we can say Gaussian. So the rand and method takes samples from a normal or Gaussian distribution and mean of that Gaussian or normal distribution is 0 and the variance is 1. We'll cover the uniform and normal distribution later on. This is just a brief intro. Now note that normal distribution is a distribution which is continuous in nature. We have a lot of different kinds of distributions in statistics like uniform distribution, normal distribution, Poisson distribution, Rayleigh's distribution, etc. So, Normal distribution is a kind of continuous distribution and it has a probability density function. As opposed to the discrete distributions which have a corresponding probability mass function. Now an important thing to note is that if we provide no argument in this rand n method then it will return a randomly generated float which will be sampled from the distribution or we can say from the normal or Gaussian distribution. So this is a very important thing to note. So if we provide no argument then a single float randomly sampled from the distribution is returned. So please keep a note of that. Now we'll start with the code and first of all I'm going to pass no argument. So I'll write x is equal to np dot random dot rand n and I'm going to pass no parameter and I'm going to print the value of x. So I got one random number which is a 
sampled from a normal distribution which is centered around 0 with mean 0 and variance 1. Now I'll create a 1D array. So I need to pass one parameter and I need to print the value of x. So this is the result. So as a result, we got a 1D array or I can say that a row vector. So the result is a row vector or a 1D array. Similarly, if I want to create a 2D array, I need to pass two parameters that is the row count as well as the column count. So now let's create a 2D array or a matrix. So I need to follow the same syntax. I just need to give two parameters this time. So let it be four and three. Now I'll print. So I got a matrix with four rows and three columns. So the result is a 2D array. Or I can say a matrix. Now let's create a 3D array. So the syntax will be same. I just need to pass three parameters this time. Because a 3D array has three dimensions. So I need to follow the same syntax. I just need to give three parameters. And I will print the value of x again. So you can see that I have got a 3D array as a result. So result is a 3D array or I can say that a third order tensor. Because if you recall in higher dimension nth order array is referred to as nth order tensor. Now I have got an assignment for you. Create a 4D array randomly using the rand n method and print it. So in today's lecture, we covered the use of rand n method of the random module of NumPy. That will be all for today. This video is brought to you by Programming Knowledge. Please like, comment, share, subscribe and hit the bell button for updates and stay tuned with us for next lecture. Thank you.